quiet because everyone's still asleep. In this video, I wanna share with you five tips for losing weight, but first, a bonus tip. The most important thing to consider when you're trying to lose weight. Eat less! It's true, if you wanna lose weight, you have to eat less. Regardless of what diet you choose, you have to be in a calorie deficit if you wanna lose weight, period. But just saying eat less isn't that helpful. It's kinda of like saying, man, just go to the gym. That's good general advice, but I wanna be a bit more specific. The idea for this video came to me while I was watching Jordan Feigenbaum's YouTube video, Full Day of Eating. It's a great video, a lot of good takeaway points, so I would suggest you go watch it. In that video, Jordan shows himself weighing all of his food, and I thought, how might someone lose weight without needing to weigh all of their food? Now, I realized that video was his full day of eating. It was what he does. It wasn't titled, What You Should Be Doing. But I know that I lost 45 pounds without counting calories, without weighing my food, and really without accurately measuring any of my food. And I wanna share with you guys four habits that I changed that really made losing weight much easier for me. Tip number one, stop snacking. Eat three to four meals a day at designated times and don't eat anything in between. Don't eat that donut in the break room at 10 a.m. Don't eat that 300 calorie protein bar at 2 p.m. because I need my protein. Stop snacking on chips and crackers and stop eating candy in the gym. I don't need to hear about your glycogen levels. Stop eating all these filler foods throughout the day that you're probably just eating out of boredom. A couple hundred calories a couple times per day will add up quickly. Tip number two, do not move the barbell. Ah, oh, shit, wrong video. Tip number two, eat one protein and one carbohydrate. Eggs and oatmeal, chicken and rice, salmon and couscous, steak and potatoes, meatballs and pasta. Not eggs and bacon and sausage, not oatmeal and a muffin and some toast, not meatballs, pasta, and a huge piece of garlic bread, not a turkey sandwich, and a bag of potato chips. So I like to eat good barbecue. Let's use that for example. When I'd go out to a barbecue restaurant with friends and family, I would just get one protein and one carbohydrate, one meat and one side. Something like brisket and mac and cheese, not brisket, mac and cheese, potato salad, baked beans, and cornbread. And I don't think you need to worry about making sure you include a fat. That's probably gonna be covered by your protein and your carbs. I'm also not mentioning vegetables. Eat as much of those as you want. Those shouldn't be limited. Tip number three, avoid add-ons. In my dad bod video, I mentioned that I cut out ands from my diet. This is a similar tip. So about once a week, I like to go to a local sandwich shop and get a turkey sandwich. The website says this thing's anywhere between 450 to 500 calories. It's a decent meal, pretty satisfying for most of us. Don't ruin it by adding bacon, adding extra house sauce, adding chips, adding a drink. Chocolate chip cookie looks pretty good, I'll toss that in too. Making smart decisions, even when you're not in an ideal situation, is so important when you're trying to lose weight. What do I mean? <sighs> Look, I get it. You've had a long day at work, you gotta go pick the kids up from school, drop the kids off at practice, you're gonna run to the gym real quick, pick the kids up from practice, you gotta get them home, get them showered, get them to do their homework, get them ready for the next day. You might not have dinner prepared, you're probably just gonna run through a fast food drive-thru. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. This brings me to tip number four. If you're going to eat fast food, just get one item. Don't make it a meal. Just get the cheeseburger. Don't add on fries, soda, chicken nuggets, skip all that. Just get the cheeseburger, don't make it a meal. Sometimes I think we get sucked into this all or nothing tunnel vision. Day one, eating clean. Uh, so I've gotta get fast food today because I have no other options. It just really sucks because I've been making such good progress on my diet and this is just gonna totally derail me. How can I help you? Yeah, can I get a... Uh... Two double cheeseburgers, 12 piece chicken nugget, large saucy fry, make them extra saucy, large milkshake, large Coca-Cola, and... Anything else? Side salad with a side of ranch and a side of another cheeseburger, please. 
Fast food, what are you gonna do? You can still stay on track even when circumstances are not perfect. You can't always control your day-to-day -day situations, but you can control the decisions you make. Tip number five, no liquid calories. Stop drinking soda, stop drinking milk, stop drinking orange juice, stop drinking your Starbucks dessert. Whatever. Maybe stop drinking so much beer. These things add up quickly, they're easy to consume, which means that they'll easily fly under the radar. That tip's pretty straightforward. I think one thing that took me a long time to understand and accept while I was losing weight was the fact that I did not need to eat until I was full every time. I didn't need to eat until I was content and not hungry anymore. I think that our hunger gauge is unreliable and probably for most of us, inaccurate. This is a very difficult challenge for a lot of people to overcome. Stopping yourself from overeating. It's kind of like waking up in the morning to your alarm. You say to yourself, just five more minutes, just five more minutes. And before you know it, you've been laying in bed for 30 minutes trying to get yourself out of bed. And I think overeating can happen the same way. Be mindful of it. You have to make a conscious effort to stop eating before you're full. When you're preparing food or you're ordering food, don't let your eyeballs determine how much you need to eat. Stick to your plan. So I realize there's an exception to all things discussed in this video, right? As long as your daily calorie intake is at a deficit, you don't have to follow these rules. There's no magic to it. I just wanted to share with you some pillars of diet advice that made losing weight and eating less easier for me to do, and hopefully it'll help you too. Stay tuned for next week's video where I give you five tips for gaining weight. Basically, you do everything I told you not to do in this video. Thanks for watching and always remember, Trend on time!